All right, welcome back, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of the series. Uh, quickly, just uh, I would like to apologize for taking so long to release this episode. I was just learning a couple of new things, being to a couple of interviews and so on. So yeah, things have been a lot busy recently. Now, just before we start, this is the school. I think it's called the school now. Anyway, this is a school website. If you log into the school, you can find the same content, but you can get access to the Get Repo. With that out of, the, out of the way, let's get started. So this is where we stopped last time. So here is the app and the app is working. You can change everything on it and it's actually okay. However, if you look at the code, this is actually really, really bad code uh, for many reasons. One is there is a lot of repetition here. You can see the set weather is being called a couple of times at different places. You can always abstract that. And you can see also that we have this error, react use uh, hook use effect is missing one dependency. So you know what? Let's fix these one by one. So the first thing we need to do here is stop repeating ourselves. So we can take out this piece of code and we can actually, instead of having this function return a JSON, we can actually have this function set the weather. But now instead of referencing a rest, referencing rest variable, we will be referencing rest JSON. So what I just did now is control D to select all the other instances of the same um, rest text. And in this case, I'm just going to replace this with rest JSON and that's it. So now this, um, <coughs> excuse me. Now this function is not just data. This function is actually setting the weather. So we might as well just give it a meaningful name. So to do that, I'm just going to hold kind of highlight the name of the function. I'm going to press F2 from my keyboard. I'm going to change this to get weather and look at the magic. VS code just changes all of the instances of the same function everywhere else. So this is really cool. So now what happens is we have one function called get weather. This function will actually fetch the data from the API and will actually set the weather. So this is good. And now we don't need this then statement there. And we also don't need any of that. Yep, just delete all of this. Alrighty. And then we also don't need any of that here. And we also don't need this here. Okay, so far so good. If I save this and go back to my browser, and refresh this I think it's already refreshed if I change anything here again you know what it should be exactly the same thing there should be no difference whatsoever if it loads all right <laughs> there'll be no difference whatsoever but we still have this error so the first thing we did, we did just now is just we follow dry we don't repeat ourselves it's just like if something has to be called a couple of times just put it in the function and call that function a couple of times now what's happening here with the error that we're getting from use effect is basically saying that use effect is a function and the function inside use effect is actually depending on this variable called query and according to the guidelines from facebook whenever you use use effect if you use any variable inside the use effect function the use effect statement has to depend on that variable. So what they are asking here is that query has to be added to the dependency array. But this, in our case, this will not work simply because query is being changed every single time the user types anything. You know, this statement will actually set the query to the e to targeted value. So every time the user, every time the user types here one letter, query is being updated. Query is being updated. Query is being updated, and so on. So if I have the use effect statement depend on query that means use effect is going to keep firing and firing and firing and firing which is not going to work in our case and to fix this is actually extremely simple what i'm going to do is i'm going to have another constant called location and this is going to i'm going to initialize this to be sydney au and this in this case is just going to be a constant i'm not going to change this ever and in the start the initial value of query here is going to be empty and instead of having get weather with query, I'm going to have get weather with location, loca location, if I can type it correctly, location. And then now we can pass location to, oopsie, we can pass location to the user effect uh, dependency array, but we know that location will never change because we set it as constant here. So yeah, we're not changing it at all. So if I save this now and go here, the error is gone and I'm starting with an empty query uh um, value and i can type whatever i want here and it still works very well so again these are two quick changes that you can make to make this way way much better for code now the third thing we need to do or we can do to make this much better is actually abstract all of this 
we are doing all of this into the app.js yes, so i need to take all of that away and put it in uh, one separate component and as i explained before that component is going to be um, a weather engine component and what i'm going to do is just i'm going to copy all of this code into another component and then um, i'm going to copy all this code also into another component as well and that component is going to be called weather engine so i'll do that right away and i'll come back there's no need for you to see guys to see this it's very boring and repetitive anyway so i'll be back okay so like i said i haven't done anything like out of the ordinary all i did was just copy the exact same code into a new component called weather engine and i put that outside in the components folder and i just copied everything that we have here i just changed the path in which we are importing the weather card and the same the same exact code i just made sure it's wrapped in a div so we don't have any issues with that and yeah that's that's all i've done yeah now uh in the app now there's nothing else that's being rendered so if i go back to my app now i'm actually not rendering anything because i took that away so i'm just gonna do i'm gonna import that component which is called weather engine now and then i'm, I'm gonna render it here and if i save this i'm gonna have the same exact results again which is yeah the same thingy uh working um uh, well and everything's fine okay good now another thing i want to do now is i want to be able to render uh, a couple different weather engines in this case if you look here i want to be able to render a different couple um, weather engines for different locations and to do that instead of having location here be a constant i'm going to actually abstract this and put it as a prop so i can have location here as a prop and now when I call weather engine, I can call the weather engine for that location called Sydney AU, for example. And I can save this. I can save this. I go back here. There should be absolutely no changes. But the difference now is that I can copy this and oopsie. I can copy this and paste it and then just say Melton AU and I can get two of them at different locations and so on. So yeah, this is also better. So we can render uh, different cards for different locations, which is the outcome we are looking forward to get. Again, I'm just breezing through this because it's actually really, really simple. Just a couple of changes here and there. All right, so I'm gonna stop the video right there. By the end of this video, we just finished cleaning up the code, making it better, abstracting things into weather engine component and rendering one using the location prop. That's it. In the next video, we will talk about the user experience, how to handle loading, how to handle errors and so on. I will see you guys in the next one.